Two years ago, the statue of British slave trader Edward Colston was toppled and dragged into Bristol Harbour. The city was built on the slave trade, and for many that reality didn't mean it should be memorialised. It started a debate around the world about how we acknowledge our history and the statues built to honour its main players. It's that same scrutiny that's now being applied to this statue in the centre of Hobart. William Crowther was a surgeon, a businessman and a former Premier of Tasmania. He's also the man who cut up the body of Aboriginal man William Lanny, sending his remains to museums. Tasmania should not want to be seen as supporting such racist acts. After William Lanny died in 1869, William Crowther broke into the morgue, removed his skull and replaced it with one from a nearby corpse. Historians say that even at the time, the act was illegal and considered offensive. This was a cause of outrage in the Hobart community once it became known that Crowther was able to do such a thing which many uh, citizens of the time regarded as immoral. Earlier this month, a Hobart City Council committee unanimously decided that Crowther should not be celebrated with a statue. The decision will now be made by the full council. If the vote passes, the removal of the statue would be the first of its kind in Australia. Some Hobart councillors are concerned about what they call sanitising history, but the majority say the statue needs to go. We are wanting to consider different ways of actually, you know, having that history there, but also considering other perspectives with regards to our Aboriginal community. We can never move forward until we acknowledge the atrocities of the past and work out how to deal with them. Megan Oliver, ABC News.